All right, hello you guys and welcome back to another Shop My Stash video. This is probably gonna look a little bit different than the last Shop My Stash we did. Um, I feel like I've added in quite a few things slash taken away and then you'll notice I have this makeup travel case on my desk. So basically all the items that I'm gonna select for my Shop My Stash are either gonna fit into my desk drawers or they're gonna be in this makeup travel case. Typically when I get ready in the morning, I'm standing in front of my full length mirror in a completely different room so that's why like kind of on a week to week basis I'll swap out the items that are in my makeup travel case and this is the stuff that I'm using to get ready for work on a day to day basis and then sometimes like throughout the week when I'm getting ready like to film and things like that and not going to work that's when I'll use more of the items in my desk drawer if that makes sense so I'm going to go through both with you guys um, and hopefully this will work out a little bit better than my last month. So starting with my makeup travel case, um, first, this first little pouch, I have like all of my brushes and things like my brushes that I use every single day. By the way, my makeup travel case is from Amy Kestenberg. Um, if I can link it below, I will. I know I also recently saw these. I picked this up um, from her website but I know I recently saw these in Marshalls as well. Such an amazing makeup, makeup travel bag. Would highly, highly recommend these. But so in this first section, I have all of my brushes. And then in this second section, oops, there's brush. <clears throat> I have a highlight, a and then I have actually three blushes. All three of these blushes are currently going in Project Pans. I have my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Powder, which is also currently going in a Project Pan. My Becca Bronzer, currently in a Project Pan. Then I have this Glam Glow Pout Mud, um, like lipstick, not lipstick, like lip balm, potted lip balm. And I just put this on every single morning, like as I'm getting ready so that I don't get like concealer lips. So I'm just going to keep this in. I'm trying to just get like finish this off. Then I have this little palette that I created myself. This has my three makeup forever blushes in here, which I really need to start using these, but geez, I'm trying to get through like my panning blah, blah, blushes and I'm just, I struggle with blush, but I also have my four single eyeshadows that I'm currently trying to pan in my 19 shadows in 2019. Not doing well on my single shadows. I will say that I am going to keep this entire palette looking like this, um, in my makeup travel case. So I'm going to pop that back in. I'm also going to keep in my Hourglass Mood Exposure Mini Blush because this is one I'm mostly focused on. This is currently going in my Roulette Project Pan and this, or the finale for that is March 5th. Yes, March 5th. Though I, March 5th. So I want to get as much use out of this as I can in the next um, like 15 to 20 days. I think I'll put this back in just like my panning bin for the for right now. I have my panning bin sitting um, in my makeup filming room, um, but I'm not going to keep this here just because this is such an easy blush to use. I feel like I'll have the easiest time with this, um, so I can put this away for a little bit. I am going to keep my flower blush in the shade Sweet Pea just because I feel like this is more of like a wintry type of shade. This isn't like necessarily a spring and summer shade, so I want to get a little bit more use out of this before we hit the spring summer months. The highlight that I had in here was the Hourglass Highlight in the shade Euphoric Strobe Light, and I was making really great progress on my Fenty Beauty highlight, um, so I decided I wanted to go after another highlight and see if I could get some, maybe I could hit pan on a couple highlights this year. So I'm going to keep this in. I really like this for work because it's a little bit more subtle, um, but this is one that I could build up as well to be more of an intense blinding highlight. I really like the formula. It's a little bit powdery, but it works for me. And like I said, I really like this as like a highlight I can get away with at work without being a little too extra. So I'm going to keep this in my makeup travel case as well. Um, this is currently going in my 19 and 2019 project pan, but I got some great use out of this the first month and a half. So I'm going to set this aside for a little bit, try and focus on another powder, and then I'll come back to this in a couple months. I've also gotten some great use on my Becca bronzer. I feel like my items that I chose for my 19 and 2019, I was so 
I was laser focused on in January and the first like couple weeks of February so I've gotten a ton of use out of those products so I'm going to set this aside again and just like play around with another bronzer for a couple months and then I'll pull this back in okay so lots of room here to play um for items that we're going to select and then in this last section I have okay so in this first little like three compartment section okay I have my mascaras a little bit extra I have four um I have the it cosmetics superhero mascara oops I have the SE Last or Essence Lash Princess False Effect Mascara. I have the Lancome Montsor Big Mascara, and then I also have the Milk Kush Makeup Mascara. I'm obviously going to keep these four in, and I'm not going to roll in any new mascaras. I am more of a mascara type of girl, not a lash gal, but I do like to layer my mascaras. That's why I always have quite a few going at once. Also in that compartment, I have my um, Essence Extreme Lasting Pencil. This is in the shade 2. And then I also have my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil in the shade Starfire. Both of these are going in my project pan. I use this quite a bit on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm going to keep both of these in that compartment. Then I always have my ABH Brow Powder Duo on hand because this is pretty much the only thing I use in my brows from a day-to-day -day basis. So obviously keeping that in, I always keep my brow brush in that compartment so I can always find it. And then I also have the Brow Gal um, Brow Gel from, well, it's the Tinted Brow Gel from the Brow Gal. I'm in, in the shade Brown Hair 2. Um, I'm going to keep this in there as well. I do actually really like this, especially on days that I don't have time or that I don't fill my brows in with powder. I just go in with this and it works quite nicely. Okay, so then in this second compartment, I have my primer that I'm using. This is the Becca First Light first light priming um, filter. This is currently going in my project pan. I'm going to keep this in here. I'm going to try and pick at least one more primer though to have in here. If not two, I, I don't know. I always like to have like a wide variety of primers. Then I also have my Hoola Benefit Quickie Contour Stick. I use this as my nose contour. I'm almost done with this and I just want to finish this off. So I'm definitely going to keep this in when I'm Finished with this, I have the Fenty Beauty Match Stick to use as a nose contour, but again, I want to finish this before I really start using the Fenty Beauty Match Stick. And then in this last compartment, I have my concealers, and then I have this Cover FX um, Liquid Highlight Drops in the shade Sunlight. These are going in my project pan. Sometimes I use these underneath my foundation to highlight my cheeks before going in with foundation, so I'm going to keep these in just because they are in my project pan, and I need to kind of focus on these a little bit more. Okay, so then for concealers, Concealers in my makeup travel case, I have my Hello, um, my First Aid Beauty Bendy Avocado Concealer, which is going in my project pan. I'm going to keep this in. Um, and then I also have my Catrice Liquid Camouflage, which I'm also going to keep in because I'm almost done with this. I just really want to finish this. So I'm going to keep both of those in my makeup travel case. And then I also have my NARS Potted Concealer that I use to set my eyes or use as an eyeshadow base. And this is also going in my project pan, so I'm going to keep this in as well. <clears throat> okay, so then kind of jumping into what was in my drawers. So first, in this drawer, we have this little container. I had one other concealer that I was going to focus on. This was the Tarte Shape Tape. And I really didn't use this but I think I'm mostly going to be focused on those other two concealers. I might pull in one more, but I'm going to put the Tarte Shape Tape away for the time being. I had my Milk Makeup um, Longwear Gel Eyeliner in the shade PTO. This is kind of like a holographic shade. Let's see. And I used this a couple of times with a couple of purple looks, and I really enjoyed it. I think I'm going to just keep this in because I have been focused or having so much fun with some purple eye looks. I'm going to keep this in for one more rotation. Okay, I had this pencil, which is kind of like an eye sh or um, a brow bone highlight, or to be used that way. I didn't use this. <sighs> I feel like I'm not going to like, I'm going to keep it in for one more rotation and see if I like this. I feel like this is one that should be on my chopping block because um, I just don't feel like I'm going to use this. I also had this Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes pencil. This is like a nice champagne shade, but unfortunately I did not use this. So I'm going to keep this in and try and remember to use this one. I'm actually going to put this one with my makeup travel case and try and use this for work to just give my eyes a bit of a pop. I'm going to sharpen it really quick. Give my eyes a bit of a pop and make me look more awake. 
Okay, I had a couple of brow products. First, I had the Essence Make Me Brow. I also had the Benefit Gimme Brow, this little guy. Um, I think I put this in my makeup travel bag too. This was one that I just like forgot about in my collection and hadn't really tried. So I'm gonna keep this in. I'll also keep my essence in. I just wanna use this up. And then I also have this Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Brow Crayon, which I really did not use. I need to use this on days that I'm filming. I don't wear, I don't wanna use it on a day that I am going to work in case I screw up, but I'm gonna keep this in to try and remember to use this. Okay, this Wander Beauty Liquid Shadow is something I added in last minute, but I'm going to keep this in. I used this a couple times. This is a beautiful liquid shadow. I have mine in the shade Dove Gray. I really, really, really like it and would highly recommend. So I'm going to keep this in for another rotation. Okay, next up in this area, I had two different powders. I had my RCMA powder, which I'm going to put away for a little bit. I used this a few times. Um, so I'm going to roll in a different loose powder. And then I had my Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder, which I used a couple times too, but I have a different powder that I want to finish um, over this one. So I'm going to roll this one out for a little bit and roll that other powder in. So then I had this Stila Sheer Color Tinted Moisturizer, which I forgot I even had in here. This is in the shade Light. Mm, I did not use this at all. So I'm going to keep this in for one more rotation. And then I also had my MAC Strobe Cream, which I only used one time. So I'm also going to keep this in for one more rotation. I had my Hourglass Powder in Luminous Light, which I used a couple of times, and I think I'm going to put this one away for a little bit. I had my Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder for contour. I'm going to keep this in. I didn't use this that much. I didn't contour too much in the last couple weeks, so I'm going to keep this in for another rotation. And then I also had my ColourPop um, Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Stomper. Um, I'm going to put this away for a little bit just because I have that Essence one and these two are practically the same color. Both are really, really good, but I feel like I just, I only need one or the other. And in this back section, I had pulled my ABH Glow Kit in Sun Dipped. I used this a couple of times. Um, I'm going to put it away just to try and, I have so many highlighters, I'm just going to try and rotate through as many as I can. I also had this Laura Geller highlight in the shade Charming Pink, which I was able to use a couple of times. And I actually want to roll in my Laura Geller face palette this round so I'm gonna put this one away for a little bit I also got some good use out of my Bobbi Brown mini I don't know if you can get this anymore but this is in the shade pink glow I feel good with the amount of use I got out of this so I'm gonna put this away for a bit and then I'm gonna keep in my Natasha Denona glow powder because I did not use this as much as I would have liked this is in the shade I believe one Yep, in the shade 1 light. Now, this is not the Super Glow. This is just the original. I do eventually want to pick up the Super Glow, but for now, I just have this, and I'm going to keep this in. It's in the shade Melba by MAC. It's just this beautiful neutral shade. Um, so it should be really easy to use, but I just did not pull this out. Okay, then over on this side, this first section is just kind of like my tools and stuff that is always here. I have like my tweezers, I have like this eye serum, I have my NYX glitter glue, eyeshadow primers, etc. Um, back here is just like my vamp stamp and then more um, lash glue. And here is where I have the lip products I pulled. And so here I always have my Beauty Agave lip mask in this desk drawer. I'm actually just going to put this kind of like with my tools. And I feel like this probably looks different than my last shot, my stash. Um, I definitely added some things in here. I think what I for sure want to keep in here, I know I didn't get use out of this Hank and Henry. I'm going to keep that in. This Stila lipstick in the shade Emma, I used one time. This was something that I just tossed in as like a reminder that I want to use it again. So I'm going to keep this as well. The Lawless Beauty Liquid Lipstick I used one time. I'm going to put this away for a little bit. I have my Buxom Dolly lip, lip Gloss, which I used a bunch. However, I've really been enjoying this, so I'm going to keep this in for one more rotation. I also have this Nude Sticks um, Lip and Cheek in the shade Purity which I actually like don't know if I really like these the formula of the nude sticks um this is the intense matte um I'm gonna keep this in for one more rotation and just give this a try I think this might be on my chopping block right now it might be one of the nude sticks is 
Okay, I have a couple of other Buxom glosses in here. This one is in the shade Sandy, which is more of like a nude, which I'm going to keep in. And I'm going to put this one back. This is in the shade Erica, which is more of like a bubblegum pink sparkly thing. I did not get a chance to use my Bare Minerals liquid lipstick or stay matte lipstick in the, in the shade Slay. So I'm going to keep this in. This is one I pulled later in the game. This is in the shade Veronica. This is a liquid lipstick by ABH. I'm going to put this away. I don't know why I pulled this in. Then I also have this Tarte Mini in the shade Margs. This is one of my favorites, and I want to just see if I can use this up. So I'm going to keep this in. And then I also have, oh, this is something I added later. This is something I want to test out but haven't yet. This is one of the Bite Beauty, I don't know what they even call these, but this is in Pink Pearl. This is one of the ones that you can use on your eyes. So I am going to keep this in because I haven't even tried this on my eyes yet, and I really, really want to. So four palettes. I had the Sassy Siennas, which I pulled. Um, I'm going to put this away for a little bit. I actually, video coming, but did a palette, a different palette a day for 28 days so every single day of February so I really didn't get use out of most of these a couple of them I did because they were randomly selected but anyway videos coming on that this is the Ace Beauté palette um, I did not get to try this so I'm going to keep this in because I do want to try it and then I still have my ABH Sultry palette which I haven't tried which is shame on freaking me I need to play with this so I'm going to keep this in I also have my Natasha Denona Star Palette, which was really easy to use, um, even like to create just like a matte look for work. Um, so I did get some good use out of this, and I actually liked this better than like the first time I tried it. However, this blue shade is super, super disappointing, so if you're buying this for this blue shade, would not recommend. Um, did get some use out of this though, so I'm going to put this away for a bit. And then I also pulled my Melt Stack in... I forget what the, the actual name of the stack was, but this was the purple one. One of mine fell out and is currently in a different Z palette, but I'm going to keep this in. Like I said, I've been having fun with purples, but I forgot to use this this month, so I'm going to keep this in and try and remember to use this this next rotation. Okay, now we've gotten through everything that was currently in rotation. Let's go and shop my stash. Okay, guys, here is my primer collection, and I am going to pull at least two, maybe three more primers. I'm filming with a toddler in my room. Sorry for the lights going off. Um, I'm going to pull a blur stick to try and help with forehead lines. I'm going to pull my Hourglass number 28 primer. I'm trying to pan this. And then I think I'm also going to pull the NYX Honey Do Me Up for more of a glow. Okay, on to foundation. This is obviously my foundation collection. I currently have the Too Faced Born This Way in my project pan as well as the Dior Forever. And then I also have that Stila BB cream that is that I kept in this rotation. Um, I think, I know I'm going to for sure pull the Healthy Vitalist, not Healthy Vitalist, the Healthy Foundation from Physicians Formula. This is currently um, on my chopping block, so I want to make sure I give this a fair shot, use this enough to find out whether or not I want to keep this in my collection. And then I just want to pick one more. This one, you guys, this L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear, I was so excited to purchase, and I haven't even tested this yet. I want to do a first impressions on my channel, um, so I'm not going to pull that in. I think the other one I'm going to pull in is this Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Makeup. I loved this foundation this summer, but I haven't used this in a quite some time, so I'm going to pull this one. I'm going to put the Physician's Formula in my makeup travel case, so for everyday wear, and then I'm going to put this in my desk. Okay, so then popping open this first drawer, we have my concealers here, and like I said, I already have the Bendy Avocado I'm working on as well as the Catrice, and then I still have my Naked Skin in my um, 19 and 2019 project pan, so I don't want to like overwhelm myself with concealer, but I just did a Throwback Thursday video using the Ulta Beauty Full Coverage Liquid Concealer and forgot how much I really do like this. So I'm going to pull this one in and then we will call it good for concealer. For powder, oh yes, so the other, the pressed powder I wanted to pull in was my NYX HD Finishing Powder. This is the banana shade. As you can tell, I have 
significant pan on this and I really want to use up a powder product this year. So I'm going to be pulling this in and then I think for a loose powder, I'm going to pull in this Ciate London, I forget what they call this, the Extraordinary Translucent Powder. I got this in an Ipsy bag um, and haven't given this a try yet. So I will pull this for my loose powder for the month. Okay, on to drawer number two, which is going to be my bronzers. For bronzer, I'm going to pull in my Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. This is currently on my chopping block, and spoiler alert, spoiler alert, I've actually been enjoying this, so I want to continue to use this, and then I think I'm actually going to pull in my number seven. This is more of just like a light bronzer which I really also enjoy and I haven't used this in a little bit. I love this in the springtime which I know we're not quite to spring yet but um, I miss this bronzer and I think I'm gonna pull this one too. Drawer number three is my really really full blush drawer which is out of control and right now I actually have sorry I'm gonna try and back up a little bit. <laughs> sorry if you can see like all the mess below. Um, I have quite a few blushes like I said I'm currently trying to pan some blushes as well so I don't want to overwhelm myself with blush. I think I'll just select one, two blushes actually. I want to pull in this Butter Blush by Physicians Formula. This is in the shade Plum Rose. And I actually have really enjoyed this. So I'm going to pull this and then I also really want to play with my Jouer Blush Duo in the shades or in the shade Adore Me. Um, I purchased this during the October Sephora VIB sale and I've only used this a handful of times. So I really wanna pull this. I think I'm gonna put this. Oh, I kinda wanna put both. Ah. Ugh. I'm gonna put this in my makeup drawer or makeup travel case. So the majority of this drawer is like liquid highlights and then like my highlight palettes. Um. Let's see, for highlight this month. Ooh, this is tough. I think I am going to, I actually think I'm gonna pull out, oh gosh, ColourPop, ColourPop Flexitarian. This is an intense highlight, but it's one that just does not get enough love from my collection, even though it's beautiful. Um, and then I also have that Hourglass highlight, my Natasha, no Natasha Denona Glow. Oh yes, and then I'm pulling my Laura Geller face palette, which is all highlights, so that should be good from the highlight drawers. Next, we are going into my single shadow drawer, which is right here. And I am not a huge single shadow, single shadow type of a gal. But I do want to pull Urban, Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy. This is just a nice like shimmery shade to pop in with like a neutral sort of eyeshadow look. I feel like I can wear this to work and get away with it. So I'm going to pull in Midnight Cowboy. I call it good for... Actually, no. You know what? I bought this in July. This is the Dose of Colors Block Party eyeshadow and Leave Me Alone. And I haven't tried this. And I think it's because I'm really disappointed by the swatch. Like that does not look good at all. But I wanna give this a try and see if I can create a look out of it, see if I like it, or see if it truly is just uh, pretty in the pan but not, not anywhere else. Okay, in this drawer we have my mascaras right here, um, which obviously I have a ton of mascaras. I get a ton in my like subscription services. I don't remember the last time that I truly like bought a mascara. Um, and then I have my eyeliners, which I feel good about eyeliner right now. Or these are like my gel liners, brow products. And then here's my actual like pencil liners. <sighs> I feel good about eyeliners except for, I just mentioned these in, I just mentioned the Urban Decay in products, high-end products I don't reach for, and this one actually is like a bit of a disappointment to me. This is in the shade Heartless, but I used this the other day and it was okay, so I think I'm going to pull this, try and get some use out of it, and then I'm also going to pull this Marc Jacobs pencil. This is in the shade, 
Missed Me, which is obviously like a light purple. Again, I've been having fun with purples lately, so I'm going to pull the pink and the purple, and then we should be good for eyeliners. Okay, next we have my face palette drawer, which, sorry, the lighting is not good now. Shoot, I hope the lighting wasn't horrible for all of that. Anyway, so this is my face palette drawer. Um, someone commented and said I should choose like one face palette a month to focus on, which I loved that idea. I actually think I might choose two. So first I'm going to choose this Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminating Palette. I also mentioned this in high-end products I do not reach for, um, but I love all three of these highlights. It's just like the bulky packaging that deters me. So I'm going to pull this in. Um, I cannot wait to use Peach Glow. Such, oh my God. I love that highlight. Oh my gosh, I'm going to try and pan that. That is so beautiful. And then obviously... There is Gilded Honey, which is such a staple. This is like an OG classic. So beautiful. And then Ballerina is like a little bit darker, but still so, so beautiful. So I'm going to pull this in. And I also, well, shoot. I was going to say I want to pull in this Wander Beauty, but I have so, I was going to say I want to pull in this Wander Beauty, but I have so many bl blushes. Ew, but I still kind of want to play with this. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to pull it. Maybe I'll just use a different blush every single day of my life. And then my bottom two drawers are like my new drawers, which I just kind of like redid. Um, so right now in this first one, I just have like new skincare, which isn't a ton. And honestly, I'm just trying to like wait to open new skincare until I finish some skincare. And then in the bottom drawer, I have a few new items, which I'm not going to share with you guys right now because they are items that I picked up in the month of February. So if you want to find out the new items in that drawer down below, um, check out my upcoming makeup rehab update um, and we can talk about those items. So, Okay, guys, here are my liquid shadows. Sorry about the lighting in here. And then here are here's half my palette collection. This is in my bedroom. The other half is in my filming room. As far as palettes this month, I think I'm just going to pull two from this collection um, because, again, I have my 19 shadows in 2019, and I've also been cycling through a lot of my palettes in February trying to do a different palette every single day. So... So I'm going to pull Dose of Colors Baked Browns. This is just a staple, and this is a great one for me to pull out to wear to work. No, let me hold And then I'm also going to pull out this mini Nubian that I got in an Allure Beauty Box because, again, this is just an easy one to wear to work, and this is an easy just little mini guy to play around with. So I think I'm just going to go with minis to add to the stash. All right, you guys, and then to wrap it up, I have quite a few other lip products to include in here. I'm pulling in my Dose of Colors Can You Not Lip Gloss. This is one of my faves. I also have this mini um, Hi-Fi Shine Ultra Cushion Lip Gloss in the shade SPL. I recently got the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in Skin Tight in my Beauty Wish Lucky Bag, so I'm going to put this in there. I actually love this shade from the Too Faced Melted Matte like, like Gingerbread Collection. It's in the shade Sugar Cookie. I'm going to put that in. And then I'm going to put in this Makeup Forever Mini. And this is in the shade C211. And that's what that looks like. So a little bit more of like a rosy toned pink. After that, that is going to conclude this month's Shop My Stash for February. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I hope you will consider subscribing before you go. I post videos every single Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. But other than that, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.